talks as a major step forward. Over in the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, the new general secretary of the Communist Party, is facing the first test of his leadership as the crisis in his country grows. The Politburo is said to be divided over Mr. Gorbachev's plans for political and economic reform, so-called perestroika. The head of the KGB, Nikolai Stronsky, is reported to have left for his dacha in the Crimea with a number of senior military figures, but official Kremlin sources deny any split. What is this? A tea party? You ladies were due on the parade ground ten minutes ago. Now get your asses out there or I'll have them stitched into footballs and kick them from here to New Jersey. Foley! Get those shoulders back! Stand up straight, Kozlowski! That's more like it. If I was a Russian, I'd take one look at you bunch of schoolgirls and laugh all the way back to the US of A. You boys may be flying home next week, but if I send you back like this, Uncle Sam will think we're running a holiday camp out here. So before I ship you out, I'm gonna shape you up. Armstrong! If anyone needs to shape up Armstrong, it's you. I've seen sumo wrestlers with flatter stomachs than yours. Can you see that truck over there, soldier? Can you? Sprint there! Now! Move your ass! Soldier, it's time to see what you're made of. Let's hit the training ground. Now it's time to prove yourselves. Armstrong, you seem to think you're pretty good. You can go first. Run along the lane between the two blocks and get back to us. Get moving, soldier. Well, Armstrong, that wasn't bad. Now the rest of you, go, go, go! A good soldier must be fast, exact, and effective with his weapon. Armstrong and Peterson, you're up first. Run to the crates and pick up some ammo. Good work, Armstrong. Now, the rest of you. James Gostowski. Christ, George, you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm keeping fine. Well, I guess I'll be right over. Uh, to think you spooks promised me the quiet. Good to see you boys. We're ready for you. Nice to see you again, James.
Rub the sleep out of those eyes, gentlemen. Colonel Blake will brief you. Ten -ten. Thank you, Sergeant. Okay, men. At ease. At 0700 hours yesterday morning, contact was lost with Everon, the easternmost island in this group. The last communications that came from the island reported heavy military activity in and over the streets. From what we can ascertain, Everon has been occupied by a hostile force, origin unknown. As the only NATO presence in the area, it is our job to respond. Choppers are waiting to ferry you to Everon. Any questions? Sir, you say the origin of the occupying force is unknown. How can that be, sir? Hasn't anyone, like, spoken to them? Believe me, we've tried, soldier. Washington wants to move fast before Moscow gets involved, if they aren't already. We're going to have to do the best we can with what we've got. Those choppers are waiting, soldiers. You'll be briefed further en route. Good luck. Dismissed. Okay, Kozlowski, Bomiali, Armstrong, you're coming with me. We're going out on patrol. The rest of you start turning this miserable patch of mud into a camp that Uncle Sam can be proud of. Отсюда нет возврата. Don't shoot, don't shoot. When seven five eight two, Corporal David Armstrong. Отведите его в камеру смертников. Lower your weapon, American. Stay right where you are. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Give me your name, ID and rank. When seven five eight two, Corporal David Armstrong. And your unit? You don't need to know that. We will take you to Commander Slava. Take it slowly, and don't try anything clever. Welcome, Corporal Armstrong. My apologies for the manner of your arrival. Hey, don't worry about it. Now perhaps you crooks would like to take me back to wherever the hell you abducted me from, before a squadron of Black Hawk gunships comes looking for me. As soon as you've heard what we have to say, you will be returned an arm to your unit. The Everon Freedom Alliance has no quarrel with NATO. The Everon Freedom Alliance, is it? A grand name for a poor band of men and women who simply wish to see our Russian visitors leave this island as quickly as possible. Preferably in coffins, of course. I know how you feel. I'm not sure that you do. This is our home. We will defend it at all costs. 
You Americans, now you have seen a few Russians. You're running away like chicken seeing a hawk. Hey man, who are you calling chicken? We didn't ask for this fight, and we're doing the best we can. One minute I'm in a training camp, and then all my friends are dead. I'm sorry about your friends, but I have lost everything during these few days. They killed my wife, they killed my boy, they burned my house. There are few things remaining in my life. And this group of people is one of them. Uh, I'm sorry. The Russians are killing civilians? Why would they do that? They want to control this island, not to slaughter. My friend, you have obviously no idea who you're facing. These soldiers are so far from central government that we're not sure if they obey orders from Moscow or from some other source. We are at the end of the world, and the Russians here show us how they hate this place. Look, Slava, I don't think our command knows about your people. I have to get back and report. We will take you with us. You will meet our leader in our main base, and he will contact your people. But first, we have our own mission to complete. Every man is useful to us. We need your help. Of course. After all, you saved my skin back there. Not bad. For an American. Hey, thanks. Look, I'd like to stay and help some more, but I need to get back and tell my CO, I mean, my commander, what's been going on here. I understand. We are on our way to the main resistance camp. You can come with us. We have a radio there and can try to contact your CO. I appreciate your help. Let's find our truck. And one more thing. You need to take off that uniform. Put on these civilian clothes instead. Russian patrols are everywhere. Good morning, Corporal. I have heard much about you. How do you like our castle? Hmm, <laughs> neat. Corporal Armstrong, we have a boat leaving later tonight, which will take you back to the NATO base. We've already helped some of your comrades in this way, but only a few. You have been most fortunate to survive when so many have fallen, but try to forget such things for now. Please, relax and enjoy our hospitality until the boat arrives. American, your boat is here. But the commander wishes to speak with you, before you leave. We have no chances, you know? With the NATO forces defeated, we are at the Russians' mercy. I wish... Wishes are no good to us, Corporal. Soon, they will find us. Then they will kill us. I'm sorry. All we can do is slow them down. I promise you, we will return, and we'll drive those damn Russians into the sea. So, the last of the Americans has left us. I pray to see the game, my friend. I pray for our deliverance. But sir, you don't understand. I understand perfectly, Corporal. They're desperate for our help. They can't hold out much longer. Listen, Armstrong, I appreciate that things are bad on Everon. Really, I do. But there's simply nothing we can do to assist at this time. We've got our own problems right here on Malden. Sir, for all we for know... For all we know, the Russians could be on their way right now. We've got to secure our position here before we can even think about pushing back to Everon. I'm sorry, but these resistance fighters will just have to manage by themselves for a while longer. I understand, sir. Glad to hear it, Corporal. Now, tonight, we need you out on watch.
We're just not ready for this kind of action, sir. I know, I know. But ready or not, we've got a serious fight ahead of us. Major, are you okay? I put you on dishwasher duty, but the truth is, we need you on the front line. The front line? But sir, I haven't even completed my training yet. Tell me about it. But we've got more tanks than tank crews right now, and the Soviets have got us on the run. And it's true? We're up against the commies? Well, they're wearing Russian uniforms, and they're driving Russian tanks, but they're fighting like... Well, I ain't ever seen nothing like it. You can count on me, sir. I've almost got the hang of steering this thing. I hope so, for your sake and your crews. Speaking of whom, where are they? They're taking some time off in La Trinité, sir. Well, get yourself and your tank down there and pick them up. Then report to Major Sutherland on the training ground nearby. Yes, sir. And get a move on. Russian tanks are rolling on to Malden as we speak. Lieutenant Hammer, reporting for duty, sir. Lieutenant Hammer, your reputation precedes you. I hope you managed to get here without demolishing too much en route. Now, I'll be with you on this exercise, but God help me, you're the commander. We'll see how you get on with some basic tactics. Gentlemen, it's good to see you. As you know, we've got something of a situation here. The way I understand it, Malden's coming down with a bad case of the Reds. Indeed. Russian forces have established a beachhead near the town of Lolis. If we don't clear them out right now, they'll be able to stage a full-scale assault from this position and drive us right off the island. But wait. Let me guess. You can't send in the tanks because that's what they're expecting you to do. The roads are too well defended. That's the information we're getting from Intel. So you want to soften them up with some kind of special demolition squad? That's the plan. Shall we say three men? Three men on their own against a well-defended enemy encampment? Three of our finest men. And that would be us. I wouldn't trust anyone else. Great. Hey, Carrillo, you see that? See what? Is something burning over there? You see the smoke? That ain't smoke. That's... it's dust. Dust? I don't get it. Sir, we got Russian tanks. Lots of them. And they're headed this way. Christ, you sure? I sure as hell wish I weren't. Papa Bear, this is Chapoy Patrol. Requesting urgent armored support. Over. Say again, urgent armored support. Do you read me, Papa Bear? We have Soviet tanks confirmed inbound. They're coming straight for us. Over. First off, Armstrong, please accept my congratulations. Sir? I've been keeping an eye on you, Sergeant, and I've liked what I've seen. Sir? Congratulations. You've just made Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, Lieutenant, I want you to meet Commander Gostovsky, Special Forces. Gostowski. James Gostowski. Armstrong. Good to meet you, sir. Now there's something I want both of you to see. It was passed to us earlier this evening. Сорок восемь часов, полковник Блейк. За это время вы и силы НАТО должны покинуть эти острова. Если вам не удастся 48 hours, Colonel Blake. That's how long you and your NATO forces have to remove yourselves from these islands. 
If you haven't affected a complete withdrawal by 1800 hours on Tuesday, an entire tank division, two squadrons of helicopter guns, and 1000 of the Red Army's finest men will obliterate you. There will be no further warnings. I wish you a safe and comfortable journey home. Who is this guy? Looks like he's got a screw loose. You don't know the half of it. I've had our intel boys look into his background, and the file doesn't make pretty reading. His name's Guba. General Alexei Guba. He served five years as a commandant at one of Stalin's Siberian gulags, where they nicknamed him the Dentist. Why'd they call him the Dentist? No idea. Sounds pretty scary, though. And now he's back in the army, heading up the Soviet presence on Kolguyev. So Moscow wants NATO off these islands? Well, the Kremlin's still denying any involvement in the invasion, and Washington's inclined to believe them. It looks like General Guba is in this for himself. God only knows what he's trying to achieve. 1,000 troops, sir? That's five times what we've got left here on Malden. Armstrong, I want you to lead a squad escorting Commander Gastovsky back to Everon. You know the resistance forces, and I need you to talk to them. It's important they cooperate with our special forces in the upcoming incursion. Get ready. You're leaving this evening. That must be our guy over there, by that fire. America, I didn't expect to see you again. It's good to see you, Thomas. Is Commander Slava around? I have good news for him. I, uh... Well, Look, uh, kid, we're a little short on time. How about you take us to your leader? Ah, Americans. We thought your species was extinct in these parts. We came to ask you for your help. We think we can help you too. Oh, yes. Like you helped us before by fleeing this island the moment those Russians' dogs removed their safety catches. The fact is, sir, that NATO is just about ready to kick the Russians off Everon once and for all. But we need your help to prepare for the liberation. We've had a lot of broken promises from you Americans. Why should we believe you this time? Look, NATO had no choice but to pull out before. We were outnumbered and outgunned. But now things have changed. There's more of us now, and we've got the Russians on the run. <laughs> We will see. I was hoping to meet with Commander Slava. Is he here? Slava? He's dead now. Dead? We lose people every day to the Russians. There are not many of us left now. I... I'm sorry. Look, we will assist you as we can. Before he died, Slava had prepared some documents which will be of use to you. Information about the Russians' presence here on Everon. Thank you. I'm sure these will help. What was that noise? Novotny, Melish, see what's happening. Everybody, get to your post. Lieutenant Armstrong, I think you'd better leave. Please, take these documents back to your commanders. Good work, Lieutenant. If it's reliable, the information you've brought back will give us a real edge as we plan our assault on Everon. Sir, I'm confident it will prove reliable. Excellent. Now I want you to take a leading role in the counterattack. So first, we need to assign you a squad. There are two groups of men scattered to the northeast of here. Make your way to the crossroads out towards Arudi and gather them under your command. Then join Major Johnson near the town of Guas, which is coming under heavy fire, and help to repel the enemy forces. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Armstrong, sir. At last, we'd almost given you up for dead. Looks like the Russians are about to make their move. Now follow me. I'll take you and your men to your positions. Let me introduce you to Victor Troska. An old buddy of mine from, well, that's classified, from way back. Viking Victor, 
You should have seen this guy in action. For God's sake, Victor, of course, it's a trap. If I was Guba, I'd be ashamed of something so obvious. We must negotiate. There's too much at stake. We can't give up now. We can't just give up. Who said anything about giving up? Get your weapons. We're gonna kick these bastards off our island. Let's finish this. But we've got a problem. He holds the airport and he's managed to get three heavy bombers. From what we've heard, it looks like he's ready to destroy everything, everything. Civilian casualties could be extremely high. He took out the planes. He saved us. But some things are too much. Even for a hero. Even for a hero, Geronimo. Colonel Blake, sir, I hereby tender my resignation. I'm going to settle somewhere. Somewhere around here, maybe. If you ever need me, you know where to find me. And remember, I've got a bullet with Gooba's name on it. Это безобразие! Американцы пришли и разместили свои бомбы, тогда как наши ленивые и бесполезные вояки сидели и смотрели! Три драгоценных вертолета потеряно! Майор Малевич, пошлите сообщение полковнику ГГБ Валеницы. Полковник Мартынов должен быть арестован за предательство Советского Союза, за неадекватную оборону своих установок. Его следует судить признать виновным и расстрелять. Без права обжаловать приговор. Есть, товарищ генерал. Могу я предложить, что его следует заменить полковником Еусевым? Еусев? Хм. Вот почему бы и нет. Полковник Еусев преданный офицер, понимающий опасности, грозящие матушке России, как извне, так и изнутри. Молодец, майор. Хорошая идея. Эх, и как только Россия может когда-нибудь стать опять великой, когда эти западные апологеты в политбюро назначают таких простофиль, как Мартынов, командовать нашими войсками? Терпение, дорогой Алексей. Вспомни, о чем мы говорили. Вся Россия знает, что Кремль слабый. Как только народ осознает, что перевес сил в пользу НАТО, он испугается. 
Тогда все будут хотеть сильного вождя, который сможет вернуть нашей стране ее былое величие. И когда ваше унижение со стороны незначительных сил НАТО на этих островах завершится, Россия поймет, кто должен стать ее вождем. Ах, моя дорогая Ангелина, вместе с тобой я раскрашу все континенты кровью наших врагов. This should be pretty routine, right? <sighs> Nothing's ever routine around here, man. See you in the sky. This is the place, sir. That's Major Bayless over there. Captain Nichols reporting for duty, sir. At last, Captain. Now let's get that chopper in the air. If those trucks get through, our troops are going to be in trouble. Nice to see you again, James. So how was Kolgajev? Cold, sir. I take it we're planning an attack. Indeed, Commander. Now Everon is ours, we must take the fight to the enemy and press on to Kolgajev. Into Soviet territory? If we leave Moscow to deal with Guba, this thing could drag on for months. He's humiliated us and the Kremlin's got to be pleased about that. Publicly, they'll flay him alive, but privately, well... He'll be looking at a healthy pension and a nice little dacha in the Crimea. No, we've got to get to Guba before they do and haul him in, like the war criminal he is. So those shilkas I spotted... Must be destroyed. We're coming in from the south and those anti-aircraft vehicles will tear our planes to pieces. Unless I take them out. Precisely. You've already wrecked the area, so you know the terrain. It'll be a pleasure, sir. Dismissed. And James, good luck. Товарищ капитан, мы его засекли. Он упал у леса. Ха-ха, замечательно. Там у него нет никаких шансов. Надо действовать быстро, а то он может выйти к морю, и тогда... Товарищ капитан, подразделение быстрого реагирования по вашему приказу подготовлено. Какова будет наша задача? Состреленный летчик. Он упал у леса на севере. Его надо привести живым. Есть, товарищ капитан. Подразделение вперед. Наша цель бежит к лесу. Бросьте ваше оружие! Руки вверх! Быстро! Молодцы! Ефрейтор, доложите начальству.
не слишком ли туго? Бедняжка. Не волнуйтесь, капитан Николс. Вам недолго осталось мучиться. Если только сами не захотите. Алексей, дорогой мой, почему ты такой мрачный? Из-за этих придурков в Москве, Ангелина. Почему они посылают свои войска против меня как раз в тот момент, когда я ставлю настоящих врагов России на колени? Почему наши союзники в КГБ не задержали политиков еще на пару часов? Не беспокойтесь, мой генерал. С вашим новым замечательным планом конфликт из-за этих островов будет не в счет. Час славы близок. Да, 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 конечно. О, моя дорогая Ангелина, что бы я только без тебя делал. Американцы, я вежливо вас просил покинуть эти острова. Вы отказались это сделать! Ваше неповиновение стоило жизни многих отважных русских. И, конечно же, многих ваших собственных солдат. И он не будет последним. Вы, полковник Блейк, вы только попробовали вкус грядущего кровопролития. До сих пор вы имели дело только с моими сухопутными вооруженными силами. Проходящая ныне завершающая стадия установок ракет. So far you have dealt with my conventional forces. And the going final preparations for launch at a secret location is a little surprise than has, shall we say, come into my possession. He's got to be kidding. Да, полковник Блейк. Я сильнее, нежели вы думали. Yes, Colonel Blake. Я взял в плен одного из ваших элиты. I have captured one of your elite men. He will be executed as an example, and then all of you will die. Вы умрете все, если если только вы не оставите Калгуи. Unless Unless you leave these islands, Kalgoorlie, Everon, and Malta. This is our land. This is the land of Mother Russia. Okay, I think we have a problem. And there's something else. Intel reports massive Soviet mobilization across the whole of Russia. Oh, great. The official line is that it's just a big exercise, but we know the Kremlin's livid about what's going on out here. Guba may be a maverick, but those are still Red Army troops he's commanding. And Kolgajev is still Soviet territory. We're about to start World War III. No, we're going to finish this thing as quickly and cleanly as possible. Find that missile, James. Intel's working flat out, but we need you on the ground. Back to Kolgajev. Back to Kolgajev. And Nichols? The pilot from the video? Perhaps he can find some way to escape, but there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Уже здесь, американец. Мы ждали тебя. Иди за мной и даже не пытайся делать глупости.
Acknowledged, Papa Bear. November 1 and 2 preparing to engage. November 1 to Papa Bear. All enemy tanks have been destroyed. The coast is clear for your infantry boys. Алексей, любимый мой, американцы уничтожили нашу ракету. Что? Этого не может быть! Они, они на нас напали неожиданно. Они как-то туда проникли, я просто даже не знаю. Как ты могла допустить это? Алексей, мне жаль, что все так случилось. Жаль? Ведь я ж тебе верил, Ангелина! Милый мой, что... Тебе верил. Генерал! Полковник Иосиф, приготовьте вторую ракету. Другую ракету? План Б. Приготовьте мою машину. Сию минуту! President Reagan gave no comment on the alleged incident, but one senior official privately described the congressman's behavior as laughable. Meanwhile, tensions appear to have eased on the island of Evron, cause of so much speculation over the past few days, with American forces reportedly engaging hostile troops of unknown origin. In an official statement, the Secretary of Defense revealed that a U.S. training camp on the island had been attacked by a small group of lightly armed terrorists, led by a disgraced former general of the Russian army. U.S. military sources stated that the assault was a poorly planned publicity-seeking maneuver by an extremist organization which was easily resisted by American troops. There were no significant casualties. Moscow has termed the incident highly regrettable, and the whereabouts of the terrorist leader remain unknown. In other news, Reggie the runaway tiger is still unknown. <laughs> I hope he's rotting in hell. They wouldn't tell us if he was. Will anyone ever hear the truth? No one wants to look bad, my friend. They all have too much to lose. The story will never be told. But at least we're still alive. Be thankful, be thankful. <laughs>